Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll head into Regina tomorrow and I think uh, just worry about that game right now and then you get a day off in between games so you get a little rest. But uh, those are two good teams, two very dangerous teams with uh, some high-end offensive guys. So, uh, I mean, it's a good, uh, good test for our team. Yeah, I don't think we're in uh, any position right now to take any team lightly. I think we've uh, dug ourselves a little bit of a hole and I think every game is pretty important right now in the second half if we want to be a playoff team, a team that can uh, can make some noise. So, uh, I mean, Regina, they're missing two big pieces of their team, two guys on the power play for them. I mean, Connor Bedard is Connor Bedard. He's dangerous every time he's on the ice and Svozel is uh, similar when he gets on the power play, makes plays. So, uh, I mean, they're still still left with two 20-goal scorers there and Howe and Suzel so uh, they got some dangerous guys. Second half of the season begins right now. Back to Anderson, Calder Anderson. Pass over, Manti, there's the play for Highland. He scores! What a read for Quinn Manti. He finds Brett Highland. And the goal scoring streak is now at eight games for the Edmonton native. The Wheat Kings are on the board, it's one to nothing. Zakar Polshikov shot on, say made rebound loose, they score! His first goal as a member of the Brandon Wheat Kings for Tony Wilson. And the Wheat Kings have made it 2-0. And up top for Nate Danielson. Danielson loads up, fires, he scores! Nate Danielson with a rocket from the high slot. And the Wheat Kings have made it 3-0. And uh, congratulations. Uh, we can say it now. Carson Bjarnason, his second career shutout, second shutout of the season for the Brandon Weekend, stops all 19 shots. He faced goals weekend. Um, really good. Yeah, it was uh, it was good, good experience, and it was uh, good to get the first one under the belt. So. Talk to me about this game, the largest win margin of the year for the Brandon Wheat Kings, 4-0. Yeah, obviously the first period, I mean, get, getting the bus legs out a little bit. I mean, it was a, it was a good travel day, but uh, it was a pretty good outcome. We, uh, we put our work boots on, obviously Barney, a lot of guys had a good game with the shutout. And we just came together as a team and I thought we uh, played really well and that led us to a really good result. So. I mean, it was good to go home and kind of get that reset. So I think uh, once I like, came back after the Christmas break, it was good to just kind of restart my game and, and start fresh. So. What do you got to do in Moose Jaw to pick up a win on Friday? Uh, same thing, just pucks deep, physical, and uh, just the exact same way we played tonight. So, 